нежелательные реакции. Primarily, it is the implant rejection as a foreign body. Especially, magnesium stearate causes such a self-defensive immune response of the organism. It must be said that triamcinolone causes constriction of blood vessels and reduced blood flow in the implant area, which is another cause of possible side effects or complications. All mentioned above can cause a septic, allergic, and non purulent tissue reactions. Those reactions are manifested by swelling, itching, rash, and redness. If such reactions are not stopped timely and they continue to develop, a small channel could be formed in a few days. Then a little opening in the implant area will occur and tissue secretion slackage might appear from the wound. This tells us that the reaction has started a few days earlier which had to be stopped immediately. However, even if all this had already happened, the treatment can be very effective. Anti-inflammatory medications, anti-allergic medicines, especially hormonal, plus antibiotics, since the wound is leaking, which is an open door for infections. Consequently, the organism must be protected from possible infections. Antibiotics will be given for a certain period of time. Afterwards, usually reaction of rejection will gradually withdraw and swelling and redness will pass. The wound will tighten up and the opening will close, so the person will carry his implant normally. It is very important to promptly, immediately, from the very first day of the occurrence of some uncomfortable sensations, the person contacts the doctor and starts with preventive therapy in order to stop the allergic reaction. Besides the local reactions, a real allergy, a general reaction might occur. This happens extremely rarely, and it gives the rash and itching on the skin too. Besides these aseptic complications, superative septic reactions might occur. For example, if a copy of the implant is placed, or storage sterility and transportation regulations are compromised, in case when the packaging is partially opened or shelf time of the implant is expired, if the implant is placed by unqualified surgeon and if the septic and antiseptic rules regulations are compromised during the surgery or later during the bandaging of the wound. In cases when the patient touches the stitches of the wound, or if someone tries to remove the bandages and starts scratching the wound, which is categorically forbidden. However, if the infection of the wound region of the implant had already occurred, it is necessary to contact the doctor immediately and implement antibacterial therapy, proper bandaging and proper medication will stop the superative septic reaction and the condition will gradually normalize.